Coming up with Election Day just around the corner, we have everything you need to know about voting hours, locations, and a few important reminders. As temperatures dip, folks, Gwinnett County is set to open its warming stations where you can find them. And giving back for the holiday, the Gwinnett Sheriff's Office is hosting its annual Thanksgiving food giveaway. Hear from Sheriff Kibo Taylor and find out how to get involved. Plus, we have a very special guest in our studio in just a bit. Those stories and more in this edition of Eye on Gwinnett. Hi there, I'm Deborah Tuff. Thanks for joining. Always a pleasure to see you. With election season in full swing, here's a quick reminder. Early in-person voting ends November 1st. Mark it on your calendar. That's this Friday. If you're voting on election day, November 5th, polling locations will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now you can check live wait times online before heading out by visiting GwinnettCounty.com forward slash elections. Here's a heads up. It happens every single time. The elections headquarters on Grayson Highway in Lawrenceville is not a polling location on election day. So be sure to go to your designated site. Again, you can verify your polling location at that same website. Let's make sure every vote counts by being informed and prepared. Now for our Spanish speaking viewers, please welcome Sylvia King from our communications department. Sylvia. Con la temporada de elecciones en pleno apogeo, aquí tienes un recordatorio rápido. La votación adelantada en persona termina el 1 de noviembre. Si planeas votar en el día de las elecciones, el 5 de noviembre, las urnas estarán abiertas desde las 7 de la mañana hasta las 7 de la noche. Puedes verificar los tiempos de espera en vivo antes de salir a votar. Visita winnecounty.com slash elections. Ten en cuenta que la sede de elecciones en Grayson Highway en Lawrenceville no es un lugar de votación en el día de las elecciones. Así que asegúrate de ir a tu lugar designado. Puedes confirmar tu lugar de votación en ese mismo sitio web. Así que asegurémonos de que cada voto cuente, estando informados y preparados. Ok, Silvia, coming through. Thank you so much. When temperatures drop to 35 degrees or below, Gwinnett County will open its five warming stations. The stations will be available from 6 p.m. to 7 a.m., providing a warm place to rest and receive a hot meal for those in need. Starting November, these stations will be open at Bessarin Park Gym in Norcross, Beaufort Senior Center, of course in Beaufort, Centerville Senior Center in Snellville, Lawrenceville Senior Center, and Shorty Howell Park Activity Building on Pleasant Hill Road in Duluth. For status updates or info, folks can visit GwinnettCounty.com forward slash warming stations or call that number on your screen, 770-822-8850. That's 770-822-8850. The Gwinnett Sheriff's Office continues its commitment to community support with its fourth annual Thanksgiving food giveaway. This cherished tradition provides vital assistance to families in need during the holiday season. And let me tell you folks, there is a big need. Here's what Gwinnett County Sheriff Kibo Taylor had to say about the event. We've gone from calling it a turkey drive until the food giveaway. That's what we call it, it is our annual Thanksgiving food giveaway because you know, we've been so blessed with this, we're able to give away more than turkeys. One thing about it is, is that even though we came up out of the, the pandemic, you know, there's still a lot of folks out here that still have, you know, food insecurities. I would like to see everything that we've done, and I'm going to use the old football term, put it on steroids. Okay, that means we get bigger, we get better. The food giveaway will take place on November 7th from 11 a.m. to 4 in the afternoon at the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds. Guess what? You don't even have to get out your car. The sheriff says he hopes the office can help 6,000 families this year alone. And in other news, this week, Gwinnett County celebrates a new chapter in community services with the grand reopening of the One Stop Centerville location. It's bigger and it's better, y'all. I'm talking extension, expansion, all of the above. At the ribbon cutting ceremony, local leaders highlighted the center's mission to provide accessible resources to residents. The One Stop Centerville Center will offer job assistance, family services, and much more as part of the county's ongoing effort to support our growing community. Gwinnett is not Atlanta. You all are right when you said it because it's time for us in Gwinnett to celebrate the season with Georgia's Festival of the Trees, a family friendly holiday event featuring beautifully decorated trees and festive lights. 
in Gwinnett County. Joining me in the EOG studios is Festival of the Trees Executive Director Angie Eulaberry. I love your last name. Thank you. But it'll make a great pie. Angie, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks today. for having me. So oh my fun. gosh, I'm, I'm excited about this. Yes. So for those who have never been exposed to the Festival of the Trees and this is going to be their first time, what is it? Well, what they can expect to experience is everything about Christmas is going to be there. So they're going to come in, they're going to see Christmas trees and wreaths and all kinds of really beautiful decor items that are presented in our tremendous auction. And then they'll also see Santa and sugar cookie decorating and children's activities, games, crafts, tons of things for kids to do. And we have a boutique shopping experience. You can buy gifts for family, friends, really beautiful things and then we have entertainment that runs the entire time with local dancers wow. singers it's just a lot of fun people come to see the trees they stay to play and just really enjoy the experience and of course this year brand new is the pink pig we've been able to bring the pink pig back to the festival of trees with a new modern twist so we're really excited about that we really want people to come out and experience the new pink pig let's talk about the pink pig what is it so the Pink Pig uh, originated at Rich's department store in 1953, and it was a ride that the little children could uh, experience, and I'm going off other people's experiences because I was not there. But they, I basically rode around the department store a little bit to get a view of the toys, and I believe it took them to see Santa, but I'm not really sure. But as it grew in popularity, then it, they took it outside, and it went above the city over the top of the building around the big tree and it was the thing to do people talk about it with the you know just great nostalgia yeah. uh, and then it's had several iterations since then and it's been you know at the Georgia Festival of Trees way back and then it was at uh, on the top of the uh, Macy's parking deck yeah. so it's had all of these really cool experiences and it's changed over the years and it was retired in 2021 I believe mm -hmm. and one of the biggest questions that we received when we brought the festival of trees back in 2021 was where, where's the pink pig and I was like I don't know because I didn't know much about it right. at that time so one of the things that our team continued to work on is figuring out where the pink what pink pig was and yeah. what the options were there and and so here we are with the opportunity to launch a new version of the Pink Pig, a new iteration, and she's a lot of fun. So Priscilla's retired, yeah. so Penny, her granddaughter, is taking over. I was, I was about to ask, yes. is Penny the granddaughter? Yes. yes, and she has a lot to say, and she learned everything she knows from Priscilla. And so she's going to be taking our guests on a wonderful journey through the Festival of Trees and sharing her thoughts about the festival and her Christmas memories of Priscilla and family and all those important things. Thank you so much again for joining us. I, I can't wait to talk to you in the future about more events. And we're going to have a recap video that we're going to show on our other show, Global Net, so you guys stay tuned. If you're wondering how you can get involved, the Georgia Festival of the Trees will be held from November 23rd to December 1st, and that's at the Gas South District. You can visit their website for more information. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey y'all, I got a question. You know what it is. Are you social? We sure are. Follow us at GwinnettGov on Facebook, X, and Instagram for more county news. You can also catch our programming anytime, anywhere on TVGwinnett.com or by downloading TV Gwinnett on Amazon Fire or Roku. All right, so I need you to download the apps now because you have time because we have one more segment called Just So You Know. And just so you know, Chairwoman Nicole Love Hendrickson's second annual stand down event was held on October 26th. And shout out to all of our veterans who attended. It was amazing, an amazing event. It provided employment assistance, health screenings, and essential services to those who served us. I'm talking to the veterans, their families. You deserve it. You fought hard. Now it's time for you to rest. And I hope that you guys got plenty of that. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Deborah Tuff. See you next time.